Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Gadget Racers Part 2, where we had just completed the airport track. We did not get our car because we did not get first. Like I told you, we probably would not get first. Let's go ahead and go to the shop. Not getting the manual transmission still, but I will go ahead and get this new engine here. You can see it's going to bring up speed and acceleration. Go ahead and buy that. Go to the garage. Equip it. And there we go. We still won't be able to get first on this one, but there is an event here, as you can see. And it looks like it's going to be... it wants us to reach a speed of 105 in one lap. We also have to make sure that the, um, the enemies do not finish before us. And again, no super start. Seems like par for the course for me. You may notice now we're going 112 instead of 109. That's what the new engine does. And it's definitely helpful, it's just I really don't think we could get first with just one engine upgrade. If we upgraded our transmission as well, probably could get it on the actual race, not this event race, of course, because we just came in first. Jungle King, that's a new name. And there's normal motor oil. That's what I was telling you about, about the uh, helping with your acceleration. In fact, well, this is a special race. Let's see what they want me to do. Well, it's just a drag race. What it is, is it's exactly like it says, and ha, huh, they want me to drag race a trash truck. Okay. Ah, no super start yet again. Yeah, he's gonna pull ahead in uh, the beginning, but just look at that. Zoom. Eat my dust. I don't even have to turn. Later on, those, uh, those, um... What's the word? Drag races. Didn't even know what I was saying there for a second. But those drag races, later on you'll have to dodge stuff that, that's in the way and everything. It's, it gets to be really much of a pain. Since this is just a normal race, I'll go ahead and show you what the uh, oil change does. You just go over here to oil, and you can see just a tiny bit of acceleration that it adds. Just a small amount. It's really not worth it. But you don't really want to sell it. There's really no point. Anyway, we're back with the amusement park background. And everybody will fly ahead because, again, I did not get the super start. I swear I'm pushing the button at the right time. I guess the game just doesn't like me. But then again, maybe it does like me because, wow, it just got me into first in like 16 seconds. Now this is the first racetrack that incorporates the use of the brake. Because on that hairpin turn that's coming up, you cannot make it without braking. I am not kidding. You will fly into the grass. See, you gotta go quite slow on that turn. Yeah, they tend to catch up to you, but you pull away when they turn. Really, I mean, I don't know... Oh, this actually does look like a different background, even though it has the... Ferris wheel in the background, and I'm sure it has the roller coaster as well. It's got buildings versus the, I'm guessing they were empty, empty audience stands. They've still got the billboards, but I don't see the empty audience stands. I don't see the yellow mountains either. I see brownish, reddish mountains out there. Not bad. I'm really glad they did uh, make a change of scenery because some of these tracks do get to be a little long, especially the beginning when you're going really quite slow. 
112 might seem fast in real life, and it really is not even that fast in real life. If you watch things like NASCAR, where they're going like 200 miles an hour, but this gets to be a lot faster. But that's still quite a ways away. But you gotta start somewhere. And at least we feel like a proper police officer because we are the head of the pack. Almost lapping the last place person yet again. And yet another race complete. And since this is a new race, remember, always check the store. New racer body. Got some more money. And you might notice there's another event there. We're gonna go to that place next. That's new, but we can't afford that. Uh, oh, there's the new transmission. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this new transmission. I like the automatic transmissions a lot. There's transmission. You can see it's gonna bring up speed quite a bit. Which is exactly what we need. So now, instead of going for that event, I'm actually going to go back here and see if maybe we can place um, first. Get a little bit more prize money to add up to uh, getting that new engine. Still no superstar. Unfortunate yet again. But now, remember the top speed was 112? Now our top speed's 123. This makes a huge difference. Even though it's just a few numbers difference, it makes a huge difference. Look at how fast we've already caught up to the leader. It's only the first lap, and I'm about to pass the leader already. That is, if I can get past him without... Okay, good. Without crashing into the back of him with the horrible hit detection. I mean, sometimes the hit detection looks good, like when you crash directly into them, but when you hit like the corner of their sprite and it makes you lose, you know, 20 MPH from it, it really hurts. And it's really frustrating to keep just hitting them when you swear you're gonna pass them. I like these lights too, they're nice. As I said, I knew we'd be able to get in first. So now we get to see the racer body for this race. There was the racer body. Looked like a yellow car. And I think we got time to do this event. Stop in the goal zone. Oh, it's a chicken race. These are interesting. I might, I might fail this a couple times, especially without new brakes. Oh, of course, now I get the super start on chicken of all things. That makes perfect sense. Usually I start braking when you start seeing tire marks like that. Start braking. Kind of just like that. Could have gone a little better, but I'd rather not go in the water anyway. It's not fun going in the water. And of course we got the transmission that we just bought. That's just wonderful. Let's go to the shop real quick, just to make sure there's nothing new. Nope, nothing new. Okay. Well then, at that, I think I'll cut this video a little short. Uh, Bandicam, unfortunately I have it unregistered right now, so I can only record 10 minute videos. So, come on back for part 3, where we will press on even further in the circuit world. See you later.